Hello guys, welcome to Deep Codes and in today's video we will discuss Deep Code question 101 that says symmetric tree. So here in this question you are given the root of a binary tree and we need to check whether it is mirror of itself or not. So a mirror of itself means the let's say this is the given tree and its left child must be mirror of its right child that means this value must be same and yeah if you do a mirror like keep a mirror in here between then this left uh, left child of this left root should be equal to right child of the right root and yeah right child of a left root should be equal to left child of a right root so yeah that's how it must be symmetric uh, around its center okay got it so yeah, as you guys can see that in this example this 2 and 2 is same these 3 and these 3 are same and 4 and 4 are same so it is symmetric here as you can see that here this uh, 2 and 2 are same but here the right child of a left root uh, is 3 and here also right child of a right root is 3 so these are not symmetric so in this case if a tree would be like this so if it would be 1 2 2 here 3 and here 3 then it is symmetric then you can tell this is symmetric okay or if you have something like this 1 2 uh, 2 here here 3 and here 3 then also this is symmetric okay but in this case it is not symmetric so yeah we written false here got it so talking about uh, the intuition and approach for this question see here we need to check for symmetricity for a give any given tree we need to check that whether this given tree is symmetric or not so, and for that what simple thing we need have to do we have to just simply check uh, that uh, whether the values of our nodes are same or not and in order to check the values of our nodes what we have to do we have to do simply traversal so that's why there are two approaches to solve this question either to bfs traversal or dfs traversal simple as it is in order to check for symmetricity we have to travel the tree and check for values okay so intuition for this question is simple whenever uh, admits in mostly tree type of question we have to do traversal itself okay right so yeah if you want to do dfs and how you will approach for dfs solution now as you guys know that in DFS we have some uh, base condition because DFS is what? DFS is simply recursion. Recursion. And whenever we do recursion, we simply put some base condition. Okay. So the base condition here would be if the left root and right root both are null. You see, in DFS, what we will simply do. So first we will check that if, if there is no root, then we will return true here. Right? And after that, we will check for root of left and root of right. See the thing here is let's say for this given tree we have to check for its left child and right child simultaneously. This is the left child and this is the right child. We have to check for both left and right simultaneously and that's why in DFS traversal we will take two nodes at a time in this check function and we will check for its value as well as its sub child. We have to since we need to find either the tree is symmetric or not we have to take two nodes at a time simple as it is. So yeah we take two nodes at a time the left node and the right node uh, okay and the first base condition if uh, there is no left or no right that means left is also null and right is also null since both are null then we can return true simple as it is or in the sec in the second base condition what we wrote if left is null and uh, means one of these is one of the left and right is null it is either left or either right if one of them is null and other is not null then we will return false simple as it is both has to be same then only true is else if one is the null and other is not null then we will return false right now the thing uh, here arises is for the child see guys what we are doing for the left root we have to check for uh, left child left child and compare it in with what right root uh, right child see this left this is the left uh, child of the left root and this is the right child of the right root and they both they, and these two must be compared right these two must be compared and these two must, must be compared okay got it so yeah due to this we check for left of left and right of right left of left and right of right and in the child two we compare left of right this is this is what left of right and this is what left uh this, so no this is right of left and this is left of right so we compare right child of a left node and left child of a right node so yeah this is why we are comparing like this not directly left of left and right of left but yeah we are comparing left of left with the right of right and left of right with the right of left so this is where you have to think a bit because uh, we are not we are not comparing like this see not three and four and four and three we are comparing between these 
3 and 3 and 4 and 4. This is how the mirrored image will be compared. So yeah, got this. So that's why we are taking this uh, child nodes this way. And in the end, we will simply return either the left child and the right child value is the same. Uh, means this is true. And if this is child 1 is also true, that means this recursively we got answer true and child 2 recursively we got answer true. If all of them are true, then we will simply return true. If one of them is false, means uh, either this is false or this is false or this is false. Any one of them is false, then we will return false. And that's why what we did, we did bitwise end. We have to check um, why bitwise end because it is uh, it is simple to note that let's say if you have one more node 5 and there is no where in this right child, then yeah, it is unsymmetric. So anywhere when the condition will break, we won't get a symmetric node uh, for the left uh, in the left child or in the right child. Then we will simply return false. And if any one of the condition fails, our tree is not symmetric completely. So that's why we are using bitwise end here uh, to check that whether all uh, are true or not. And if any one is false, then we will return false here. So this is how this recursive solution will work. Uh, see this recursive solution. See these two and two are same. Then we will check for its child. And see, I, I hope you guys how you know that how recursion works. We check for the child, right? See here, this will check. This will, okay. See if a tree is like this, then we will check for what? Uh, here uh, we will check for this uh, subtree, then this subtree, then this will return some answer, either true or false. This will also return some answer, true or false. This will also some return some answer, true or false. This will also return some answer, true or false. And based on this, this is the backward calling uh, that happens in recursion and based on all are true then we will return true here also and these are true then we will return true here also so we go towards the depth we check for the conditions and then we return our answer to the parent okay so since this is a dfs we move from parent to child and child will return some answer to the parent okay so this is how dfs uh, will work these are the base condition and this is the only single condition that we need to check now if I ask you that based on this understanding that how we coded for B DFS, can we write BFS solution? Yes, BFS solution is pretty much simple here. What we will simply do is, see this is the base condition that first we check in the DFS. It is same as it is here. Now we take one Q, Q. so instead of calling something like uh, recursive, recursively calling for this check function, what here in, B, in BFS we will do, we will take one Q. And yeah, we will store the left and right child of this root node, correct? See, we have passed the left and right from here itself. So the same thing we will initially store in the queue. Now, as you guys know that here we are checking for two nodes, the left and the right node, two nodes at a time. So that's why here also in BFS, we will check for two nodes, the left node and the right node at a time. We'll check for two nodes at a time. And this all condition remains the same. Then if the left and right both are null, then we would continue. If one of them is null, so this means what? One of them is null and either the value of the nodes are not equal, then we will return false simple as it is yeah this is not on symmetry and if this is not the case then we would what we would do we would push the uh, nodes in the queue but but there has to be some order of how we will push the nodes the child nodes into the queue so initially we will put left uh, child of the left node right child of the right node see what we have check here left child of the left node right child of the right node so in the same order we will push uh, these nodes into the queue then right child of a left node and left child of a right node so this order has to be maintained because when we will uh, take the two elements, two nodes from the front, it has to be this, uh, means this pair, pair of this and this, it has to be pair of like this, this and this pair, and this and this pair, this pair has to be maintained. So that's why this order is important. So whenever we take a node from here, from here, from the front of the queue, this pair would be something like this, either this pair or this pair. So yeah, I hope you guys understood this BFS solution as well. This is simple as it is. If you have understood any one of them, either DFS or BFS, coding for the other uh, approach is simple. Okay. Yeah. Now talking about the time and space complexity for both the approach, it would be uh, the same. The time complexity here would be big O of N as we are traversing all the N nodes at a time. And the space complexity here would be big O of uh, H for the recursive solution. And it would be the same for uh, this, uh, this BFS solution as well. Because at a time we are, we are also popping some of the nodes. So at a time there would be uh, this many nodes uh, present in our queue and in the stack call as well. So yeah, that's for the time and space complexity. So yeah, that's all for this video. If you guys have any doubts then do let me in the comment section. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.